hydraulic actuators in aircraft play a vital role for flight and control, often their operation ensures the safety to the aircraft and every passengers on board. You may not have thought about it much, but if you step into the plane, you are putting your trust in a linear actuator. Actuators are used in landing gear, flaps, and in other crucial flight control. Fortunately, the system are designed with so much redundancy and secondary pathway that a catastrophe great enough to take them offline is likely enough to destroy the aircraft's ability to fly. Famously, United Airlines Flight 232 lost their primary flight controls and were able to crash land. That sounds like an Aussie moron you either crash or land. We are going to discuss this more at one of the remarkable aeronautics facilities in Malaysia. Benefit do hydraulic actuator or weight control have over gas charge units? Um, so, well, the hydraulic units are much better suited to the extreme uh, temperature requirements of aviation application because they maintain more uh, constant performance of a wide temperature range. For example, uh, such as gas, uh, gas charger uh, landing gears deployment. Dampers can become too weak in cold temperatures, causing the gears to slam down into the deployment position. Conversely, uh, perhaps they will become overcharged in the very hot conditions, causing the door to overshot the, uh, of the fully deployed position. A hydraulic unit will form smoothly in both the temperature co uh, condition, maybe. Mm, thank you. Um, can you tell me how many types of emergency landings so, are there? All right. So basically, there are three types of emergency landings, which are a false landing. This is a situation where the uh, the aircraft engine fails and pilots are forced to land the plane in the nearest airport. So the second one uh, is precautionary landing. This is used when a pilot uh, faces a problem due to uh, severe weather condition or being lost in the airspace traffic or due to lack of fuel or expecting an engine trouble. So the uh, the other one is uh, ditching. This is where the pilot cannot avoid the situation but to just land on water, uh, which is safer than airborne. Then I will take a landing gear hydraulic system, which is good to a uh, four-trainer one. Um, as you can see, it has two actuator, the hydraulic actuator, and which is uh, using for the flap and the landing gear. And um, as you can see, this is a basic uh, hydraulic powered uh, fluid here. So, consider the pump underneath. And it drives the pressure out liquids upwards uh, to the filter. And we have a valve side here and the reservoir. Um, so, I think we can demonstrate now. So, switch on the power. As the pump starts to pressurize the liquid and it uh, stuck on the pump behind this to distribute both to the flap and the landing gear. So now we are operating for the landing gear. So now push it up. And as you can see, once it fully retract inside the, the wing, so it will automatically lock as the red indicator turns on. Now we're going to, to slam it down. Just like that. Yeah, see it has uh, fully retracted. So, this is a hand pump. As you can see, when the emergency comes, when the landing gear being stuck by the uh, uh, clock, liquid cannot flow through the hose so the pilot must uh, pull it up so it will automatically slam the landing gear downwards so uh, as we have seen for how the hydraulic actuator works for the landing gear so it's basically the basic concept uh, for the flaps so uh, it's using uh, two hydraulic actuators as we see for, uh, for the front and the back. And these flaps are uh, used to control perhaps during the takeoff and uh, landing as it uh, used to control the wind flow underneath 
as the plane uh, become uh, eligible to maneuver. All right, uh, so I think I will demonstrate now. So the same thing, turn it on, and simply drive this pressurized liquid to this actuator. While using this, perhaps more than to take off as the wind flow underneath and is a lift the airplane upwards. Put it up, and that's how it works. All right, so. To achieve this uh, very uh, smooth, precise movement of the actuator, uh, I think uh, is more provide more torque as the hydraulic pump is uh, incompressible rather than uh, pneumatics. So it can work in the extreme cold. Uh, I mean the weather condition. So the it is uh, doesn't matter whether during a hot or cold conditions. Can add very, uh, nah, very high performance, and so apart from this, we know that actuator is being used massively in on a aircraft for the rudder, control the maneuver for the left and right, the air stairs to extract the passenger during the emergencies. Um, there's many more, many more. There's a lot of, of uh, hydraulic movement inside the aircraft itself. Right? 